Are you kidding me? Ipsy, what the heck? Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help build your brand and grow your business online. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So you guys, today we're going to be getting into a couple of Ipsy bags. I have gathered up all of my Ipsys that I've received for the month of September, which is more than probably any one per human person should receive. So today we're going to be opening up three Ipsy glam bags, you know, just the regular good old Ipsys, just base bags. And then we're also going to be opening up three Ipsy glam bag pre pre presses for a grand total of six Ipsy Ipsy bags, which is uh, too many. <laughs> it's too many. Yeah, we just got a bag full of bags, which have bags inside of them. Bagception! I think there's another one I'm missing. Hold on. I was missing one. Wouldn't it be silly if we opened up an entire grocery bag full of Ipsy bags and forgot one? I just go ahead and all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get on into it here. Starting out with the base bags. I will be trying on some things at the end of this video. I'm gonna try to make it to where I don't like waste too many products because I do like donate a lot of these products. So we'll figure out how to do it here at the end. But um, I guess you could also do a little Ipsy showdown. So we do have all three Ipsy bags here. So we're also gonna include the worst game show on YouTube, which is the Ipsy showdown, where I get three different bags with three different profiles. You and I try to guess which one matches which profile together. And then at the end, I cram it all together in my face. Kind of. So let's go ahead and pop on into this first one. Oh, the smell, the odor. That smells so good. Oh, all right. So the little bag for this month is very like, I don't know, space agey looking. It's all shiny and iridescent. It's kind of pretty. Squishy. Before we get into the bag itself, this little guy came on the outside of it. So the first thing we have is an angled shading brush. The handle and the look of this brush feel very familiar. So I'm assuming we've received, oh, there's no brand on it. Oh wait, there it is. La Russe. We have received some brushes from this brand before and uh, yeah just looks nice and soft like a regular little shader brush all right moving on into the bag itself i'm so excited to see what that smell is okay it's not this uh but we have received i'm pretty sure this exact thing in something else recently and i remember it because i'm fairly certain this is what i spilled like all over my, my physical person and like my chair and my floor and i was uh, like a golden statue for a while this is from lottie london this is in the shade golden hour and it's like a loose pigment there are oh it's red here here. Same color and everything. So Golden Hour from Lottie London. It is really pretty. It is very, very golden. It is a beautiful shade. There's a little... Why do I swatch it like that? I've been doing this for years. Do you not learn? There we go. There's a little swatch of it. It is very pretty golden and shiny. You can almost see it better on my finger. Like that looks like a metallic dipped finger. <laughs> like I just like poked my finger in some molten gold. So it is very, very pretty and I'm sure it would stay put all day long because I know it did on my foot even after I tried to wash it off. Next up in here, is this the source of the smell? Oh, it very well could be. Uh, the next thing we have here is from Hemp's. This is a sweet pineapple and honey melon body lotion. Um, I don't know what a honey melon is. Like a honeydew? Oh, sorry. It's an herbal body butter. Um, this is, this is, this is enriched with 100% natural hemp seed oil. For some reason, the bag itself smells so much more strongly than like the lotion does. I live in Kentucky, so naturally I just have sinus issues all year round. So you only got one side that works real good. I was trying to see if I could smell it just through the safety seal because like the scent was so strong in the bag, but for some reason I was having a really hard time smelling it. I mean, it smells pretty nice, but for some reason like the bag itself just smells so daggone good. It doesn't smell like the same scent. Why do you smell so good? I would make a horrible police dog. Okay, next up here, we have something from Briogeo. This is the Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Heat Protectant. Is this what smells so good? I will never learn. I will never learn. Well, since it's squirted out on the table. Oh, that does smell really good. Is that what the bag smells like? I don't necessarily know what that scent is. There's definitely like a floralness to it, but it smells really nice. I wonder if I could just kind of like get rid of some of this frizziness at the bottom of my hair. Look at that little tiny ponytail. Look at that thing. Just a little. You know what? I think that actually kind of works. Just a little bit. And then finally, the last thing we have in here is from Basic Skin. This also looks super familiar. This is a strawberry lip scrub. Why does this look so familiar? I feel like we might have received something from this brand just recently, but I don't know if it was necessarily a lip scrub, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's potentially scrubby. It does look decently scrubby in there, but I've been deceived before. I've been deceived by lip scrubs. You're like, oh yeah, that's really good. And just like rip the skin off my lips, which is what I want. Um, and then it's, it's basically just like a thick balm with a couple little pieces of sugar in it. I probably won't open this up and I'll put this in my donate bin. Where is it? There it is. All right, let's see if they gave us any print. Nope, <laughs> they didn't. I real uh, what? I don't know what these are for. I'll put, this is just a waste of paper. Put something in here that like has nothing really to do with what you just gave me in this bag. It's 
talking about like smoky eyes and glazed donut skin and monochromatic draping. There's no tapestries in here. I don't know what they're talking about. One, two, three, four. Bag nab it. I just threw it into the bin. There's no way I'm gonna be able to find that. Okay, so um, these are all the products that came inside of the first bag, plus the uh, strawberry lip scrub that is now in the bin. And I just, I, there's no way I can be able to find that. First of all, I'm just, I'm not even gonna guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and declare that this is my skincare bag. This better be my skincare bag. There's only one um, repeat makeup item in here, which I'm sure we received in another Ipsy or a Boxy Charm or, or something, you know, under the Ipsy umbrella. And the rest of these items are pretty much skincare or tools. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my skincare bag. Following that, we have our second bag here. Ooh, compelling. Very compelling. Um, I did just declare that that was my skincare bag, so I don't know if Ipsy's about to make me look silly, but by sending a skincare headband as the first item outside of the box. This is pretty cute. It is very fluffy and soft. I like the pale blue with like that little hint of a polka dot on it. I think this is very cute. Um, we did just discover, me and my fiance last night, that this one fits our dog's head perfectly and he looks adorable in it. So this is now, um, <laughs> this is now his pair of ears. Alrighty, moving on into the actual bag here. Is that already a repeat? Yes, it is. So we have another Lottie London Golden Hour metallic gold eyeshadow. And as beautiful as it is, I just don't necessarily think I I need three of these. Following that, we have a little pot of something here. This is tween tie skin? Tween tie? Twenty skin? Twenty skin? Is that what they're trying to say? With like a very strange, nonsensical spelling of twenty? Now I can't even remember how you spell twenty normally. How do you spell twenty? That's... <laughs> She just gave me a two and a zero. She was like, I don't know, <laughs> two zero. I'm a computer. This is a tightening cream. It says premium line. It says take an appropriate amount and gently spread it over your face, period. There is no guidelines. You do you. If you want to like scoop it out, like dig your hand in there, like poop air with a pot of honey and slap it all into your face, go for it. Next up here is something from Ciate London. This is the Define liner and it looks like it might be in kind of a pretty pink champagne -y shade. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see like the shininess and the glitteriness of it in the swatch here, but that's really, really pretty. I'm kind of envisioning this like maybe in the very inner corner or something of your eye. I don't really know how well it would work as like a liner liner because um, it is a little bit on the dry side, but um, I think it's really pretty. And then finally, the last item in here again is from Basic Beauty. This is the Fall For You lipstick. Fall For You. I'm wondering if it's gonna be kind of like a folly shade, either something uh, like a rusty red or maybe like a muted mauve. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah. Not exactly a rusty red, but we do have like a deep, deep berry red, which would actually be a beautiful fall shade. See, I swear, you make no sense. You make no sense whatsoever. Some of the things you do just baffles me. Why on earth in this one do you, do you tell me about all the items and the prices and like give me all, all the things about it, but you can't like in the other ones? Like why is this bag special? But anyway, uh, so we have the Twin Tea Tightening Cream. Uh, this is a deluxe sample. The full size of it is $45. The Lottie London Power Foil in Gold Hour is a full size. It's eight bucks. The Glow on Fifth Skincare Headband is a full size. It's $12. We also have a full size of the Basic Beauty Lipstick. It's $16. And then another full size. Wow, with the eyeliner, which is $15. So that's actually a pretty good bag. A lot of full size items in it. I also think based on the items in here that we are probably looking at my regular bag? I don't know, that lipstick was pretty intense and bold, but the rest of it seems pretty regular everyday type of makeup to me. So I'm gonna say that my second bag is the regular bag. And that brings us to our third and final bag of the regular Ipsy bags. Let's go ahead and bust into this. Ooh, we have another little headband here, which I can also go ahead and donate. There just must have been an influx. There must, a Lottie London must have accidentally produced like 75,000 more golden hour little pigments than they were intending to. And they were like, I don't know what we're gonna do with all of these. And someone came in and was like, hey, you know what we can do? We can put them in every single single Ipsy bag that any person subscribes to and get rid of them. Just get rid of them <laughs> because here we have a third Golden Hour Lottie London little pigment. Again, beautiful. Don't need this many of them. Following that, we have what looks to be a little translucent setting powder. I'm assuming this is from Ciate. Just looks like it is. Yes, Ciate London. This is the extraordinary translucent setting powder. This bag also smells incredible. And it has to be this. Uh, I'm just skipping through things because the smell of the bag is so intoxicating to me. It must be this little Briogeo thing though because this is the second one that we've received with the second good smelling bag. Anyways, translucent setting powder. Now we have another Briogeo thing. Does that mean my hair smells really good now? 
Kind of. And then finally, the very last item of the third bag we have here is from Khaleesi? Khaleesi? We're rewatching Game of Thrones, so I don't, I, the Khaleesi is the only thing that's coming to mind. I don't know. I know that's not how you spell it. This one looks like it's spelled out with coffee beans. But this is the Smooth Gel Lip Liner in the shade Spiced. It looks like it's gonna be really intensely, almost brown. Man, you know, I said that I don't really like a bold lip, but that, honestly, that color looks kind of beautiful. I kind of really like that. Maybe every now and then I can just rock a bold lip even if I don't really feel like myself in it. Ooh, that's really pretty actually. And I think I could put this on sheer enough to where like I personally would really like it. I like for my lips to look like they have more of like a blotted color on them. Like I was once wearing a color and then I ate something greasy and then like whatever's left. That's what I want my lips to look like. So I feel like maybe I could pull that off with this because I do really like that color. All right, let's see if this one, yep, this one gives us like the prices and stuff too. Why would you even do the other pamphlets? I don't understand, Ipsy. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. All right, we got the Lottie London thing. We know it's a full size. That is $8. The deluxe sample of the Briogeo stuff is a deluxe sample. It doesn't give us the price, but the full size is $26. We got a full size lip liner. That's $12. A full size headband, also $12. And then the powder is a deluxe sample. The full size of it is $22. So again, we have some good full size products in here. And I think this is a halfway decent bag. I just wish we didn't have so many repeats, but I get, I mean, not many people get three Ipsy bags because most people um, are sane. And I don't know now because I kind of almost think that this bag might be my regular bag now because the other bag came with like a glittery eyeliner and a more bold and tips in tips, the intensity of it all. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and change my mind, which I could regret, but I'm gonna say now this is my regular bag and my second bag was my adventurous bag, even though it wasn't very adventurous, but at least there was some glitter inside the eyeliner. All right, you guys, so the first bag I said was my skincare bag. N Neri, I declared it was my skincare bag, so it better be ipsy, but it actually is. <laughs> My second bag I said was my regular bag, then I changed my mind and said it was my adventurous bag, but it actually is. Yay! And then my third bag I said was my regular bag, and it actually is. Alright you guys, really quick before we move on into the Ipsy Glowing Bag Pluses, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I have been working with and using Squarespace for over a year now and it has been all around amazing. As a business owner, Squarespace has been so helpful and now that my business is expanding, Squarespace is going to be absolutely necessary. Squarespace can help anyone build their brand and grow their business online. Whether you're a business owner who wants to start selling online, an artist who wants to show off their craft, or even a blogger who strives to inspire people, Squarespace has something for everyone. They offer customizable galleries where you can display images and videos in unique ways, blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site. Their system even supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, along with the capability to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Plus, Squarespace keeps you fully connected to all of your social medias by displaying posts from your social profiles directly on your website so your followers can see it and share it too. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, Squarespace has all the tools you need to build a brand, grow your business, and support your passion. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, you're squarespace.com slash alexandria ryan for 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain and just thank you so very much to squarespace for your continued support of the channel all right so we're gonna go ahead and get on into the ipsy glam bag pluses and look at this thing look at a little extra i'm pretty excited about that i'm gonna keep the curiosity pumping though and save this one for last let's see this one's feeling the lightest and looks the smallest so let's let's go for baby bear here we got baby bear mama bear and papa bear so this is the bag for september it's definitely interesting it says you got this which <laughs> You sure about that? <laughs> Absolutely positive. Uh, but also, this just kind of looks like stickers they got from the craft section and stuck onto here. Like, these are already coming off. Like, look at that. I feel like you shouldn't be able to peel that off so easily. It literally is just like a sticker. And now it just says, you got his. Anywho, let's go ahead and get on into this bag and see what we have. The first item we have here is from Ofra. I feel like I haven't seen anything from Ofra in a while. This is a, or maybe, did we just get this? <laughs> No, I feel like I'm remembering just receiving this not that long ago. This is the Signature Palette Symphony, and I do feel like we did receive this not that long ago now that I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, this looks incredibly familiar. I feel like we might have even received these same shades. They are beautiful shades. I do really like these colors. They feel very fall to me, but this is looking incredibly familiar, and it's making me think maybe we got it in like a BoxyCharm or something. Uh, since Ipsy now owns BoxyCharm and Ipsy, they're just kind of recycling products between the two, which is a little bit frustrating, not gonna lie, because even though a lot 
lot of people might not get, you know, six different assortments of Ipsy's. Um, I think I actually get nine. <laughs> there are a lot of people that get Ipsy and BoxyCharm, so to see the same products across the two boxes all the time is incredibly frustrating. The next thing we have in here is from Araceli Beauty. This is a mascara with avocado oil in it. Ooh. Is that moth supposed to look like it has a funny face on it? Because it absolutely does. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but the middle of that moth <laughs> looks like it's got a big set of juicy lips with eyeballs and a nose. That has to be intentional. There's no way that somebody designed that moth and didn't see a face staring at them in the middle of it. Following that, we have what looks to be a little liquid lipstick here. This is from Ellie Man, Ellie Mon, and it is a liquid lipstick. The shade also looks very pretty, but again, it does look super bold. Oh, that packaging looks incredibly familiar. I feel like a lot of different brands use the same packaging. Like, I guess there's only so many lipstick tubes out there, <laughs> liquid lipstick containers, uh, but it does look very, very familiar. This just doesn't honestly look like a color that I would wear. It's just a little bit too pinky red so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this as well. Again? Really? Out of all the like thousands, mil billions of products, billions of different beauty products in the entire world, why do we keep getting the same things over and over again? We have another Stack the Odds little um, beauty stack from Alley Oop. This is in the shade Sassy Pants. I've received at least, this has to be at least my third or fourth of these little stacks. Like I mean they're really cute and I like the concept behind them but at the same time like switch it up man like I want to see some different products in these boxes I do like the convenience of it the shades and stuff seem nice but like something different would be lovely what is that y'all see those little like specks there on that center cream blush is that like I'm assuming it's probably water spots or something but it looks crystallized maybe it's just crystallization that's not <laughs> that's not mold right I don't know what moldy cosmetics smells like, but I did just shove my nose in it, so <laughs> hopefully it's not mold. But there's things like coming out of the surface, like so it's not just like little water spots on the top of it, they're like actually like popping out of the surface suspicious. They probably had a thousand of these in their warehouse just like hanging out for the past however many months and that's why we keep seeing them in boxes and stuff because they're trying to get rid of them. And then finally the last thing in the first bag is from Ciate London. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of Ciate London recently. This is the bamboo bronzer in the shade Palm Island and I, I swear, I swear I think I have this too. Why do I already have like all of these products? I know that I get a lot of subscriptions. I, I know that I do. But Ipsy, I feel like these are things that I have received recently from either your own box or BoxyCharm, which you also own. It's basically just like Ipsy 2.0. At this point, there's basically no distinction between the two boxes because I am fairly certain that I have received this. And I feel like if I dug through this table, I would be able to find this exact product because I've received it from you guys like recently. Okay, so that was the first Glam Bag Plus. Uh, at least there were a lot of makeup items in here. They just happen to be makeup items that I already have. Okay, let's move on into the second bag here, the Mama Bear bag out of the three. Are you kidding me? Ipsy, what the heck? Again, again, I know it is my fault that I get so many of these bags, but like I just partner with some other people, pick some different products, maybe don't take in so many products at one time. Like if you're getting so many of these stacks here that you just have to continually put them in boxes, don't get so many stacks. I am still gonna go ahead and open up this one even though it's like the same shade and everything just to see if that blush is like that in this one. It is, ew, it looks so gross. There has to be something going on on here so it looks really disgusting I don't know if it's necessarily mold I don't know what it is but there is like a crystallization going on or something is happening here to cause this it's either being like stored improperly or it's just old either way like that I don't think that's very good I don't know I'm sure maybe it's still usable but I really don't know because it, it looks pretty gross again not necessarily saying that it's mold or something gross like that I'm no scientist I can't look at that and be like yes I can conclude that those are colonies of blah, 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 However, I will say that I have taken science classes before and we have done petri dishes <laughs> and this looks like a little tiny pink petri dish. Honestly, this could be 100% safe to use. Maybe if you like heat it up the top, that would entirely disappear. I still don't think it's water spots because they are like forming out of the pan itself. Um, just somebody who has more knowledge of things <laughs> down below in the comments, let me know what that is if you wouldn't care. Like, is this just old? Is it being stored incorrectly? I can't figure out why it's only the blush and not the rest of them. Just let me know down below in the comments. What, what the heck is that? And then we have another one of these same exact over palettes. Following that, we have something from Refreshments, which the, the packaging of this, we've already discussed it. Like this has 2007 sorority girl, like just marked all over it. Everything about this just screams like I have a closet full of Lily Pulitzer. This is from Refreshments, which I have come to learn 
Burn is actually an Ipsy brand, which I have just talked about this recently in another video um, about clothing subscriptions. I feel like we're seeing more and more of like house owned brands in subscriptions, which I think could be potentially uh, not, not the greatest because they can say this is worth whatever they want to say it is worth. And basically they could just like private label some really cheap stuff just to boost the value without including things that actually like have that true value. So anyway, that might not be the case here, but this is this is an Ipsy brand. This is the Radiant Micellar Water Makeup Remover and um, yeah, another mascara with the moth face on it. It's kind of spooky to be fully honest. <laughs> I might reconsider that design. Have you guys ever seen the Mothman Prophecies with Richard Gere? It's really good. It's really good, but also spooky and that kind of reminds me of this. Even though the Mothman um, had red glowing eyes and not luscious lips. Excuse me, what was that? I don't like talking about the Mothman and then hearing a big crash out of nowhere inside of my house. And then finally, the last thing we have in here is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Fruit Butter Lip Mask. And this also seems incredibly familiar. I mean, just, just everything just running together at this point. Like, can I just not distinguish what we have received in subscription boxes from what we haven't yet? But does this not sound familiar to you guys? I definitely know that we have received stuff from Seraphine Botanicals before. I don't know if necessarily we have received this exact product, but dang, I'm ready. I'm ready for some new stuff. I really am. Like, I would love to see some some new brands, some different brands, some different things. I just feel like everything in these subscriptions are just basically on repeat at this point. So um, let's go ahead and open up the very last bag here, the big old Papa Bear. I think we have something a little bit different in here. Ooh, that's exciting. Heck yeah. We have a full size Glam Glow Youth Mud in here. This is actually decently pricey if I'm not mistaken. Stuff from Glam Glow is pretty expensive and I love that this is a full size. Okay, okay. So something here, we got a little bit of excitement going on about at least one of the items inside of these bags. Okay guys, sorry. Uh, someone started mowing like this was what sounded like inside my house. <laughs> it was so incredibly loud. I don't think that was Jimmy. Uh, so I took a tiny break to let the sound go away. In that time, I ate like four handfuls of chocolate covered espresso beans. My mouth feels weird. I feel weird. Four handfuls is probably too much. It was definitely too much. Anywho, so we were talking about the third Glam Bag Plus. This is the first item we pulled out of the third one, which I was actually pretty excited about. The next thing we have here is in a little bit of bubble wrap, but I think it's also from Ciate Lunch. London. Siate, I'm gonna ask you kindly, I'm gonna ask you kindly to please not become the new Wonder Beauty. I was finally able to escape like the clutches of Wonder Beauty. Um, please, please don't replace them. Are they back? Where? We have a little eyeshadow palette here. I do really like the color of this. I think that's very pretty. And then on the inside, we have a very cute little palette. Okay, so this is in the shade bronzed. And um, yeah, I think these are really, really pretty shades. I personally would probably get more use out of this color scheme than I would the more like mauve burgundy color scheme that we saw inside of the little over palette. So yeah, I think that's pretty. We have another Seraphine Botanicals Fruit Butter Lip Mask. And then following that, we have something from the Somme Institute. Are they chopping down trees or something out there? Why is this so loud? If I open this window and see Jimmy just like sawing out a tree with a chainsaw, I honestly, I wouldn't actually be surprised. I wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, we have something here from the Somary Institute, which just sounds like a fancy culinary school to me. Um, oh, these are the exfoliating pads though, and I did actually like these. I have chicken skin, which is such a lovely name for a little skin condition, where I have like little bumps on my skin. The actual name of it is Keratosis Polaris, or KP. But I have used these before in the past for little bumps on my arms because it is nice to do like chemical exfoliation when you have that. So yeah, we have received these before, but I'm kind of okay with it because I do get use out of them. And then finally, the very last item in here, this looks different. Okay, so this third bag might actually be pretty decent because so far we've been seeing some different things, some kind of exciting things, or at least things I'm going to get some use out of. I don't know. <laughs> this is from the brand Full Ritual, and I don't think I've ever received anything from that brand before, so that is exciting. This is a magnetic balm, <laughs> and I don't really know what the function of having magnetic lips would be, but I guess we're going to find out. So we just have very minimal looking packaging. This kind of reminds me of like a KKW Beauty packaging. This is in the shade Second Nature. I do like that smell. I've smelled this smell before. Oh, that's so familiar. It's incredibly familiar, uh, but it smells really nice. It's not your standard like vanilla or mint. The shade of this looks really beautiful and I love a lip gloss. I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know what happened to my mirror. Is there anything reflective in front of me? This is kind of reflective. Although this is gold. So I can't really tell what the color looks like. Okay, here we go. That feels really nice on the lips. Ooh. Oh. 
coming back to me. Oh, it's coming back to me. What is it? That's gonna drive me absolutely nuts. Like I've, I've tasted this before. I've smelled this before. What is that? Okay, so this shade is just a little bit peachier than I typically would go for my lip glosses, but I actually kind of like it. It's just a very, very subtle amount of color. Feels really nice on the lips. Very soft and smooth. Doesn't feel sticky at all. I have no idea what it's called magnetic. I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I do like the lip gloss. So yeah. Alrighty, so that was everything in the third Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I definitely think that one was my favorite. We still saw some things that we have received before in subscriptions, but not as recently as some of the other things, like the Ofra eyeshadows or the little stackable thing. Also, those little stackable things are kind of gross on the inside. I don't know. They might be perfectly fine, but they're kind of gross. So what I'm going to do is uh, go through everything that we have received and pick out a couple of things to try on. We definitely, even between six bags, we definitely don't have enough to do a full face of anything. Wow, there's very little to try on, actually. Um, So what I might do is, I hate to even really use it because the colors in here, even though they're pretty, I have like all the colors inside of this palette. So what I might do is just like a look inspired by the items that we received today. So something a little bit on the fall side, a little bit bronzed. Maybe I could incorporate some of the gold shadow that I have received from the Lottie London product. And then we'll just do an inspired look. Ooh, my foundation is way too deep for me currently. Okay, let's just go ahead and there we go. Let me make a match. I want some body paint real fast. All right, you guys, so I have you zoomed in here so you can see the Ipsy inspired makeup that I did. I didn't really film the process because I just, it was just boring. I don't know. It was like my everyday makeup plus like a little gold. That's about it. But I was able to use a couple of items from the bags themselves. So we have the gold Lottie London pigment on the eyes. I think it's a beautiful pigment. I really do. Like it's such a nice gold color. It's not too like overly yellow. It's not too green. It's just like a really nice gold. Overall, I think it is a very pretty shade. Super easy to apply. I just use my finger. Then this. This I was a little bit disappointed with. Uh, this Yate London definer liner thing. It's supposed to be a gel liner, which I feel like gel liners are typically pretty soft and creamy, but it's not soft and creamy whatsoever. I did try to put it like in the very inner corner like I talked about and that did not work. Uh, it didn't want to like apply at all whatsoever. So I did put it in my waterline and I think you can kind of see the reflectiveness a little bit, just kind of opens the eyes up. And then I was also able to use the lip liner. So I just kind of outlined around my lips, you know, like you do with a lip liner. And then I actually used this guy right here. I was thinking this might be a potential contender for like my wedding lipstick color, but I think it's just, it's too purple if it goes on like really thick. So this I kind of put on and then I um, used my uh, Stitch Fix receipt and then just took a little bit off. This color I actually really like and I do think these two went really nicely together. Um, this is a very like light blotted lip color and that, that's what I typically go for. All right, you guys, so that is everything I have for you all today. All six Ipsy bags and the try on. This is going to be one heck of a long video. I'm so sorry about that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!